Hey guys, I just wanted to pop by real quick before the video starts to ask you a favor. I would love for you to subscribe. I have this really hairy goal of reaching 1000 subscribers and I would love for you to help me reach that goal. Yeah, let's get to the video. Thanks for watching. What's up all you beautiful people? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're returning, welcome back. I really appreciate that you're looking at my video. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Michaela and here we talk about all things luxury, fashion, beauty. So if you like that, please consider to subscribe here below and also click the notification bell so that you can get notified on my next videos. So today I have a review or a recommendation, I guess, of a bag that I haven't seen that much around YouTube and it's the Small Darley from Mulberry. Yeah, and I don't know if the color is... yeah, maybe. It's called the Vibrant Blue and uh, this was, I think, a seasonal color and I bought this maybe two years ago or something. But what is great about it is that it looks kind of blue in some lights and grey in some and black in some lights. So this is a really chameleon color. And I don't think that they have this size... Well, they do have this size, but not the size up. They used to have one called Darley and this is the small Darley. So I think they discontinued the... Sm the medium or the regular one and this small one is what they have now and this is actually considered to be a wok a small leather good uh, walled, on the, walled on the chain for you who don't know what wok is so what that means is that's basically a wallet on the chain and yeah you have these and i think this is what kind of signifies or makes this a wok is that you have the card slots in here uh, you can fit up to one, two, three, four, yeah, eight cards in here. So you don't really need a card holder or a wallet. So that's a great thing if you want to wear this to maybe a night out. And except for the card slots, you also have this back pocket that is actually quite roomy. And you can fit a lot in here. You can see here that it expands quite a lot so you can fit a lot of things in there and aside from the back pocket we also have a front pocket right here and also a zip pocket here you also can fit a lot in i usually have my phone or my passport here so that is kind of secured with the zipper and you also have a back pocket right here so there's a lot of space in this bag and a lot of rooms. They really, really kind of made um, use of the space that you have in this bag. Uh, and this features one of the most, I don't know, <laughs> kind of significant things for Mulberry and that's the Postman lock. And this is in the antique gold hardware as well as the chain. And the chain is in here. It's a really really beautiful chain it's really kind of feels like a real quality chain is actually quite heavy and this is in fact detachable so you can actually take this out i'm going to show you some ways to wear this afterwards you can wear this so many ways but i will show you that afterwards and insert some other limp pictures as well it's a big noise. <laughs> um what i really love about this bag is that it's really classy and chic and Kind of clean in its design if you know what i mean it's really structured they do have a similar model for mulberry that is called lily but that is a lot of, kind of poofier and not as structured as this, as this one and i really like the structured look i don't know i just think it looks cleaner and more chic i guess and also yeah just feels like it's protecting your things a bit more and i've seen some people comparing this to the chanel walk and apart from this big a lot lot cheaper uh, i think this is also a bit wider so you can fit a bit more in this it's still luxury but it's a more budget friendly uh, alternative than the chanel walk and maybe this is kind of a more of a young and not trendy but this is more of a clean and trendy version i think if you compare it to the chanel walk i love the chanel walk as well but I would consider this being a more young and maybe cooler alternative and it's definitely a lot more discreet than the Chanel one. This is, you only know that this is a Mulberry in case you know the brand. Um, and the only kind of logo that you see here is 
the mulberry text or logo here in the front. Yeah, this is a really good travel bag. I have used this as a crossbody bag with my passport and my cell phone and stuff like that in here. And then I just have like a sweater and a magazine and my noise canceling headphones in a bigger bag so i think this is just a great and safe alternative for a travel bag and in addition to being a really great travel bag i think this is a great day bag i used this when we went to milan I'm just gonna insert some pictures here uh, and turn out to go great with my louis vuitton scarf with the colors so that was great but this was my only bag that i brought actually to uh, to milan and i used this for sightseeing uh, as I said, it's a really, it feels really secure to just have a crossbody. You can put your, as I showed you here in the zip pocket here, you can have like your uh, cell phone or your passport if you want to shop duty free. And here you can have like your hotel key or something. So it's really, really kind of structured and the compartments makes it really, really easy to just keep track of your things. And it just feels like a really secure bag and it really transitions from day to night i as i said i used this as my only bag when we went to milan you can wear this just as well to a day outfit as well to a more dressed up night out outfit if you're going to a restaurant or something when it comes to what it fits i'm actually surprised what it can fit i usually tend to take out my card holders and just slip the uh, cards in here like my ID and my credit card. And I usually just have like my cell phone obviously and maybe like a compact powder and a lip gloss or a lip balm. And yeah, just the necessities. And I, it just fits this more than enough. And like, it, it's not a problem. It's not bulking out or anything. It's, yeah, it's just a great kind of <laughs> all round bag. The wear and tear is just fantastic. I've used this quite a lot. I used this as a clutch to a lot of weddings and parties and also as i said i used it for sightseeing and traveling so i've been using this uh yeah a whole lot and i think it's really really wearing well the pro with this bag is that it's kind of a pebbled leather or caviar leather if you will yeah we all know that that's more durable than lambskin or something where you can see all the scratches here you don't see anything at all There's nothing on the corners, um, not like any scratches or anything. The only thing is that the interior here is made out of kind of, I don't, I think this is kind of a ox or uh, I don't know what it's called the skin, but it's another type of skin. This is actually smooth. So here you might see some scratches here and that's because of the zipper pull here so i try to be as careful as i can with this and kind of lay this flat but yeah it's on the inner flap or the inner part of the flap so that doesn't bug me too much and this is yeah you can see that it's kind of an oxblood color so it's really stunning together with this vibrant blue other than that i don't see maybe on the you see some very very oops fine fine scratches on the hardware but that's in inevitable 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 <laughs> uh, and that doesn't really bother me even though i like to baby my bags and kind of take good care of them i also want to use them and i don't want to be scared for like every minor scratch on the hardware it's i think that's just something that you can't really avoid so yeah i don't waste any energy on that <laughs> my bags don't have to look perfect i just want to take good care of them and if something happens that's too bad but that's just life these are items that are made to be used so and i was actually thinking if i could think of any cons or disadvantages or bad things about this bag and i really really can't because i just think this is a really versatile bag and uh, yeah i don't think i have any cons actually i've heard some people complain about the strap and the chain strap that it kind of digs into your shoulder but i don't think i've had that problem because this is as i said kind of a small bag and you don't kind of put a lot of stuff in it even though you can fit your essentials this bag is it is leather, so it's not really super light, but it's not heavy either, so I don't think I've had that problem. Yeah, I just can't brag enough about this one. I just think it's stunning, it's super cute, and it's a much more budget-friendly alternative to the Chanel walk, which is crazy priced. So, 
yeah, if you want to try the wok thing out and see if it's something that fits your needs and your style, I would definitely have a try at the Small Darley from Mulberry. They do this in a lot of colors. This is, as I said, kind of a um, seasonal color, but they do like black and the beige and gray and pink and stuff like that every season and usually in different kind of shades. And they also do like... I think they do a quilted one and they have a lot of studs and things like that. So just go and have a look at this at their website and see if there's something that you would like. I really, really recommend it. I think I actually would get this in a beige one or a gray one if they have that. So yeah, I think that was it for this time, you guys. I'm just gonna insert some modeling pictures right here so you can see how it looks on me and the ways you can wear it. So that was it for this time you guys, I hope you liked my review of the small darley from Wolverine. I'm totally in love with this bag and I can't recommend it enough. So yeah, hopefully you found this helpful. Until my next one, please take care, stay safe and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye!